Hey guys, welcome on in. Kuros here, and this is my current account. And these are my current fodder. Now, how do I level these characters, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna show you how to level faster, harder, quicker, harder. Uh, some, some other ways with some actual math, some places to actually go level up and who to focus on with some farmers and everything like that so stick around and if you haven't liked and subscribed you like this video you want to support us hit that like and subscribe i'll see you in there let's go and luckily in this game some of the best farmers are actually a three star and a four star now there is a good five star farmer and we'll get to her in just a second but we're gonna talk about your farmers and what do i mean by farmers farmers is someone who can do a mission and essentially carry the whole mission by doing enough dps to carry a whole bunch of other characters all right so yeah if we were to go to our formation right you can see i have different teams like this is my main team this is kind of like my partial farming team and this is my omega farming team where grace is the main carry for me grace is especially good for against any kind of red units you can see red right there or any kind of blue units so enemy types now she will not be very good against green type or crystal type so in that case we're going to use a different farmer and that farmer would be uh 04 04 is actually amazing i don't have her built yet mainly because i don't have to farm with uh 04 just at the second grace is the better farmer now let's talk about why she's a great farmer real quick one she hits like a monster truck she literally does she could take out she could take out ex2 and we'll get to uh farming that in just a minute she can take out ex2 she doesn't need a whole lot of gear i do have some gear on her already um a lot of this is the introductory gear and she just doesn't take a lot because she is a three star right so you're going to get a lot of imprints to be able to up her attack even more and then she's very easy to upgrade and her and her attacks are so good you can see that uh she shoots an aoe attack that deals x amount of damage does more damage as the h uh hp uh, the target loses and on top of that upon a critical hit does 30 percent more damage and the cooldown reset so you can aoe every single time if you're just one shotting them then her passive makes it extremely easy to gear her she gets 50 percent more crit chance and crit resistance which crit resistance is fine upon critical hit she also gets a cr push which is absolutely amazing you can see here she's already she's sitting with i don't even have the best optimized gear she has 80 percent crit rate absolutely absolutely nutty and you can upgrade her um her s1 but really she should just be doing s3 over and over again and this is what makes her in an amazing an amazing farmer all right so there you have it very easy peasy you have a good farmer she's able to blow through it you can see we got a ton of exp on a bunch of our other characters to level our fodders to level our other characters that's what makes her really great now remember you do want to bring a farmer into the correct elements and that's why i said to either bring to bring 04 or to bring grace those are going to be your two my uh, primary farmers now milvis can be your farmer which is a five star i do not have her but um she can be very cracked for farming as well but they're, she's not as easy to build as grace in 04 because they're three stars and four stars so they're easier to get skill ups and a bunch of other things so now that we have this information let's talk about fodder real quick right so in order to get like grace who was a three star up to five star you have to max her out in levels and then you have to upgrade her via fodder so a good example of that is i need to level chihaya anyways because she's good in um the centaur um uh the centaur raid i'm gonna call it the centaur raid so we have to star her up which requires to put a whole bunch of four stars now i already have four four stars but you don't want to do these right so they say level max so I can already upgrade those to five stars because you're going to need five stars also to upgrade your five stars, right? If I was to go to Grace here and say I needed to star her up, she needs five stars to get in there, but you don't want to use any of your good five stars. And this is where fodder comes in. And there's two different versions of fodder. There's fodder in these mechs that you saw me leveling. You can see like this one's getting up to level 12, right? We're going to try and get that to 30. And then you have um, these other fodder that already come usually max level. So you can see that these are already three star at max level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade a bunch of these using our low level max. And I would always use the ones that you have the most of, right? Because you can only, you can't bring the same type of max, right? So we're going to star these, 
these up, right? The four star, because we need to use them for our uh, Chihaya in order to um, get her upgraded. But we need four of them, right? So we already have we already have three ready to go, and this is where you're going to use a whole bunch of fodder. Okay, there we go. Now we have four ready to go. Now there's a couple different strategies you can do. You can level these up to 40, and you can also break them as well. Or you can level up these mechs and get them the four star. There's there's many different ways to slice this pie, but essentially you want to use these mechs and you want to use these um, these L fours. I, I hope I pronounced it correctly to really level up your other units. You're not going to use other units unless you have dupes of that unit in order to merge into each other. So now that we have four of them, right? Chihaya is one of the characters I want to level, right? She's a very good character. I'm going to end up using her anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those four dupes. Do not use these ones that are max level, right? That's a bad move. These are the ones that already are max level four star. So that means they're ready to go to the five star. We're not going to level them up. Now there's, there's a strategy we could do is we could take those four other ones and merge it into these, right? And that's how you get your five star fodder to get higher up. But we're going to use these four, four stars in order to level her up. And it's going to be, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So we're going to start her up. Now she's five star, bam, 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 ready to go. And that's how, that's how it is, right? So as you can see, I'm leveling these other mechs, right? And my, my goal is to get these mechs the four star. So I can merge these four stars into my max level uh, alphas, which you can see these are already ready to rank up to make these five stars the merge, merge into my five stars. So it sounds a little convoluted, but essentially you take you take a bunch of three stars, level them up to four stars, use those four stars to level up some of your max four stars, the five stars, or use them where you need to, to upgrade your characters. Now, one thing I will point out is if you do have a character ready to go, um, which I don't, but say say you had some character ready to go, like um like 04, right? You could merge at the time of upgrading. So I know you can use 04s, right? Say say I had 04, right? You can rank her up, right? You do not want to do this. You do not want to rank up unless it's already max rank and you got a whole bunch of other dupes. You actually want to use your four stars to star up and rank up at the same time. I don't have one available, but make sure you're double dipping as much as you can. All right, now that we have all that information, let's talk about optimizing your farm. So in order to do that, we have this little spreadsheet that I made right over here. So what I did is I went through a bunch of these different missions and we kind of mapped out the amount of EXP you can get. And if you're reading this chart, this is based off three units skin EXP with your farmer being max level because your farmers are going to be level 50 or level 60, not really getting EXP. So what we do is we go through these missions and we see how much EXP the other three get combine them together. And uh, right now we have an event going on in Typically, events are the best place uh, to level your units. And I'll show I'll show you guys that in a second. But as you can see here, me farming the highest event mission I had at the time, or the, uh, sorry, the highest uh, event mission in the current uh, event, which is 3-8, before you get to the EX, gives you about 2,100 uh, XP. The first EX mission gives you around 6,300. Second one gives you around 11,000 or around 12,000. And the third one gives you about 17,000. Now, remember, these all sound really great on paper, but in order to do these, you need to be able to take three fodder with you. So even if you're able to do EX3, but you're not bringing three fodder with, that means you're you're wasting a bunch of EXP technically. Now, if you're leveling actual five stars and four stars, that's a different conversation. So what we do is we divide that by the amount of energy spent. And you can see that you get XP per energy here. And really, the really good fine line here is EX2 in any event that's going on. You get about 737 EXP per energy spent. And you get currency on top of that. Now, to put that in perspective, we did do normal missions 4-1, 6-5, and hard missions 4-5 if you go to the normal main story. And this is the amount of EXP they give you for doing 8 and 12. And those are okay when there's no events, right? But you can see that you're still not getting the best optimization for your energy based on EX2. Now, EX3 is the best energy you can do, but typically you can't bring three fodder. This is the one I farm mainly because I can bring in a squad like this. I could bring three fodder with me and I can bring Grace and she can get it done. But for a mission like, um, 
a mission like ex3 i can't do that right i gotta bring in a full squad now they are gonna level so that's something to be said i could use them right but i need to bring in a full squad to do this and that's not leveling fodder that's just leveling characters and that's okay but when you want to level fodder to upgrade your characters it's really going to be the mission that gives you the most amount of exp that you can actually do now maybe if i had grace the 60 already this would be a different conversation so please take what i'm saying to your own account so either do ex2 or ex3 and it's going to give you that currency on top of that so guys whenever there's a uh, guys and girls uh whenever there's an event make sure you are farming the living crap out of those events there's just so many good things in that event uh which by the way chihaya is one of the best characters for um some other progression as well so make sure you do get her and make sure you just uh that's where you're primarily going to farm now when there's not an event you can go back to those normal missions and just farm the highest one you can for the best amount of efficiency you have that allows you to carry three farmers so i think that pretty much covers everything now you you do get cat orbs and a bunch of other things and you can use those cat orbs for your five stars and your four stars you can even use them for um you can even use them for your fodder to level them up but i wouldn't rely on them i would i would rely on your farming to really get your to characters accelerated so um Guys, hopefully that answered a lot of your questions. I'll have a link to the spreadsheet down below. You can check it out. And uh, if you have any more questions, I'll go into more details about optimizing more of your fodder and anything like that. I need your guys' feedback. So hit me up with that feedback and I will try and make videos around it. I do appreciate you guys watching. Once again, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Fist bump from me to you. <laughs>